Hello boys and girls, I'm Kate and welcome to The Dog Show. Today, I'll be introducing you to some of Hong Kong's very special dogs and I'll be showing you what jobs dogs do in Hong Kong. Have you noticed these two? They're my dogs, Harry and Charlie. They're 15 months old. Do you know where I got them from? A pet shop, a dog breeders? Or do you think that I got them from somewhere else? Let's start the show and learn the story behind Harry and Charlie. I've brought Harry and Charlie back to the place where they were found. We're gonna meet the ladies who found them. Are you ready to go, guys? Okay, let's go. These ladies found Harry and Charlie when they were two days old. They felt so happy seeing Harry and Charlie again. That's so sad. Which is the daddy? Father, daddy, I don't, don't know. know. After talking to the ladies who found Harry and Charlie, I've learnt that after they were born, their mummy dog, their mother, took them and placed them under one of the container boxes to keep them safe from the cold. The ladies who found them took them to a rescue charity. There are a lot of rescue charities in Hong Kong. We are going to visit one of them. Our society is Society for Abandoned Animals. We help abandoned animals. So uh, anybody who abandoned an animal, we have to help. Plausibly, like last year, we have around 20 to 30 dogs. We care for around 160 to 70. We need to feed them at least two times daily, clean water and clean beddings. They need to go for exercise, and we have people we, uh, who come in, volunteers, to bring them out for walks. When we receive a dog in, we will separate the dog for around 14 days. And in these 14 days, we will check the health, if they are healthy. We welcome people to come and adopt our animals because we really want to find a good home for them. To make sure a dog is healthy, it will go to a vet for a checkup. Do you know what a vet does? We named her Mandy. Oh. Hi, Mandy. Nice to meet you. Dr. Patrick, how do you do a checkup? First of all, we check the weight. This puppy is 6.5 kilos. Oh. Then we check the gum color. Then we check the teeth. Looking good. Then we check the eyes. We check the ears. Then we listen to the chest. All good? Yep, the heart and lungs are good. We have a feel of the belly. See if there's any pain. And also check if any organs in the abdomen is enlarged. We can also check the legs. We check the hydration okay. to make sure that they're not dehydrated. Where do the dogs go after they've had their vet checkup? After the vet checkup, if they're healthy, we'll give them a vaccine. And if they're okay, we'll send them to the shelter for adoption. With the amazing work of volunteers, rescue charities and vets, abandoned dogs can have a different life.
My family and I brought Harry and Charlie home after they were checked by a vet. We became a foster family. A foster family helps to look after an animal or a child until a new home is found. Do you know what happened after we became a foster family? We fell in love with Harry and Charlie so much that we decided to adopt them. Adopting is when you bring an animal or a child into your family and you become their legal parents. All right, Charlie, it's your turn. You're now a lion. You're a lion dog. Harry and Charlie have become members of our family. Let's meet another family that have just started fostering a dog. This is our foster dog, Horace. We walk Horace every week, so he has enough exercise to stay fit and healthy. We take him for a walk every day for about 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, sit, sit. So the dogs are attracted to the food. They love to, they love the food. They'll eat as much food as they can. So when you show them the tree or the reward, if you, if they do the action and you reward them, they'll understand that when they do it, it's a good thing. They'll understand that if they do it, they'll get rewarded. We teach him commands, and then sometimes we let him run around. And we just let him enjoy being outside. Fostering has been great for us to learn to respect animals. Um, they're not just like a toy. If your toy breaks, or you get bored with it, you can throw it away. But animals are very different. You need to give them a lot of love and care for them for a long time. We were a bit nervous at first because we didn't have any experience. Playing with dogs is fun. But do you know what is needed when we take care of a dog? This is his water bowl. We give him food and water every day. Hang on, we need to put the harness on before we put the leash, right? Yeah. This is his harness. His color. We play games with him like catch and finding the tricks. Where is it? Yes, you found it. We even help by cleaning up his toilet. My dog is a part of my family. We love him as much as we love our parents, brothers, and sisters. Playing with him is such a happy thing to do. Puppies and dogs make wonderful family pets. But do you know that some dogs have very special jobs in Hong Kong? Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Here we are at the Police Dog Unit Headquarters and Training School. Let's go and meet some dogs that have a very important job in Hong Kong.
It's very nice to meet you today, officer. And who is this? It is Goff. Very nice to meet you, Goff. And what role do police dogs have in the police force? Police dogs are very important in helping with our duties. They do patrol duties, search for drugs and explosives, and help with looking for missing persons. At what age do police dogs start their training? When police puppies first come here, they learn to experience different environments. They will start their basic training when they are 18 months old. They will have physical training, attack training, and obedience training. And do you ever train rescue dogs to become police dogs? Yes. In fact, golf is a rescue dog given from the public. What do police dogs do when they're not working? When they are not working, they take good rest in our kennel. Sometimes their handlers will take them out for a walk or a hike. When the dog reaches the age of 10, it will retire. Usually, its handler will adopt him back home, and the dog will live with the officer's family. If the handler cannot do so, the public is welcome to adopt the police dogs. Thank you, officer, for telling us so much about police dogs. And thank you, Goff, for serving Hong Kong. Why are there so many dogs here? What are they here for? Let's meet Kirsten, who brought them here. Hi. <laughs> Kirsten, why are all these dogs here? Are these your dogs? They're mine in in the sense that they belong to the charity, which is under my name, and they're all here looking for foster homes and for new homes. People are much more aware of the benefits from adopting and you know the, the good that it does. I could see there was a need for a go-between, almost a platform for possible adopters and people who cared about animals who wanted to adopt but didn't know where to get them from. We, we have the animals, so it made sense to try and put the two together. Let's go and meet some of Kirsten's dogs. This is Hattie. Look at the lovely fur she has. It feels very soft. This is Humphrey. Look at his long, curly tail. It's black and white and tan. This is magic. This is magic's hind legs. The back legs on dogs are called hind legs. This is Athena. Look at Athena's paws. Paws are like hands for humans. And their claws are like toenails. This is Jelly Bean. She's only two months old, so she's not allowed to walk on the ground outside yet because she still hasn't had her puppy injections. Don't you think dogs are really cute? They really are people's best friends. The next time you think about getting a dog, why don't you think about adopting one rather than buying one? Thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.